everybody. It's Elise, and I'm here to talk. Um, I just have a lot of things that I wanted to talk about, so that's all we're gonna do today. Um, cheers. Okay. Okay, where do we start? Okay. So... I gotta start with the good one. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get started now. Okay, do you remember? Do you remember? Um, maybe you don't, but... A little while back, in one of my rambles, maybe a few times, I mentioned a job that I was applying to. There is something called the JET program. J-E-T. Japan. Japan English Teaching. I don't even know what JET stands for. Oh my god, that's not good because I got accepted. Big news, but I don't even know what it stands for. Wait, Japan. It's either Japan English Anyway, it's a program where the Japanese government hires people um, from other countries to be cultural ambassadors um, and also um, integrate English into the country. Um, so it's their mission is grassroots cultural exchange and language exchange taken from the website um but anyway i got accepted yay um the last time i talked i think i told you all that i got an interview and i don't know if i told you how it went but the interview is back in the end of january and it went pretty well i thought i was feeling kind of confident but still you know a little nervous Ooh. um but i just got the results yay so um, I don't know from what date I'll start working, and also I don't know my working environment. So they said I will either be placed in a government office, or a board of education, or a public school. I feel like it's probably going to be a public school because I am 23 years old, so I feel like I'm I'm a baby to be working like in a, I don't know, government setting. So I'm probably just going to be like an assistant English teacher in a public school. I'm hoping an elementary school because I like children. They're cute. And I'm hoping not, not a middle school because middle schoolers are scary. Yeah. Also, I don't know where in the country I'll be placed, so I might be moving again over the summer. I, yeah, I'm afraid they might put me in the middle of nowhere in the countryside. It's a little scary. I like I like being in a big city because it's fun. There's stuff to do and there's good public transportation. But anyway, anywho, I'll be fine. So that's good news. Wanted to update you all. And then once I start, I'll I will share about what it's like to work in a school in Japan and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I bought I bought a lipstick a new one. Today, I went to the park. I went on a walk. I walked to the park where there's a lot of cherry blossoms because it's cherry blossom season and it was so beautiful that I was like so overwhelmed by how pretty it was that I started tearing up a little bit. I was gonna start crying in the park. <laughs> it was so pretty. It was my first time seeing like the full blooms in person because um, this time last year I was on vacation in America and the year before that was when I first came to Japan in the spring and I came just when the cherry blossoms ended. 
So it was my first time being in the country during the bloom. Um, and they were supposed to start like two weeks ago, but they're really late. And I went, I had two like dates planned with my friends to have a picnic and we still went, but there was no cherry blossoms. <laughs> um, yeah, but I knew that they were blooming this weekend. So I went by myself and it was so beautiful. It was so overwhelming. They look fake in person. They don't look real. That was nice. And then I just went to run some errands and got food and stuff. Food. Just kidding. Lipstick. This is... Um, I don't know how you say it in English, but my Japanese friends pronounce it Romwando. Romwando. I don't know. Romand? Ramen? I have no idea. Romwando. But... Um, this is probably the most popular lipstick or like lip tint lip brand in Japan right now. All my, all my girlfriends use it. I can't get this open. But actually it's, I think it's a Korean brand, I don't think it's Japanese. I'm gonna have to use my scissors. My scissors. I got it from Don Quixote. The best place ever. Donkey is like just that they have everything. In the store for everything, the prices are good. So if you ever go to Japan you have to go to Don Quixote. That's the song they play when you're in the store. Yay! It doesn't smell like anything. The inside will. I've, I have one of these in a different shade and it smells really good. So this one is the Juicy Lasting Tint in shade number seven, Ju Jujubi. Juju, I don't know Jujubi. Don't know what that means. This is, I think, the most popular color. And I was looking for kind of a neutralish. Pretty close to my natural lip color, but like a little bit more intense, and that's what I wanted. It smells so good. <laughs> should I put it on? I don't know. I should put it on. Because it's kind of messy. So because it's a lip tint, you can just put it on and leave it. But what I do is I put it on, and then I let it sit for a minute, and then I wipe it off. And it leaves a tint. A tint, and it's really nice. It stays all day. I need to cough, so I'm gonna pause and cough. Okay. I think I'm gonna try putting it on. I don't have a mirror in front of me, just my phone. So I'm gonna be looking at myself in the phone. Oh, I really like this color. I think this is gonna be really nice. I hope. It's gonna look intense at first, but I'm gonna wipe it off, and then it's gonna be better. Probably gonna go outside the lines, oopsie. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is making a sound, sorry. <laughs> Kind of looking reddish. I like. What you call this? I don't know. I think it's a neutral, a little bit warm. 
I didn't want anything cool toned. I don't think I look good in cool toned stuff. So I wanted neutral or like a little bit warm. I think that's what this is. Oh, I don't think I'm matching the lines of my lips very well. I'm trying my best. Wow. Oh no. It's fine, I'm just gonna wipe it off. Okay. Let me let this sit. <laughs> like personally, this is too much for me. Also, I do, I overline a little bit. Because when I wipe it off, I swear it's going to look better. You just have to be patient, please. Please. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why does it just look red? Does it just look red? What the heck? It just looks like a light red. Hmm. Why? Why isn't it the color that it's supposed to be? Look at my lips and then look at this. Why is it like pinkish red? It's not what we want. I'm gonna try this again <laughs> in the mirror later. I don't like it now. What the heck? Maybe it's just my camera. Maybe it's just the lighting. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Oh well. That's what we got for now. Okay. And then next. The next thing that I have to tell you. This is Burt's Bees, this is Chopstick. They don't sell this in Japan, there's no Burt's Bees in Japan. So whenever I go back to America, I buy a bunch. This one's Mako. I love Burt's Bees, is my favorite Chopstick. It's the only one that doesn't dry out my lips over time. I'm sorry, I'm just staring at the color. Whoa! Somebody dropped something outside. Okay, and then next, so I am on a mission to stop caring about what other people think and be confident in myself. I think we're all on that mission, at least a little bit, but that's what I'm focusing on right now. Um, so I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone and doing things that make me nervous and things that make me scared of being judged for example going out to eat by myself or today I went to the park to see the sakura by myself which doesn't sound crazy but in Japan it's called hanami hana means flower and mi is like miru which means look so it's flower look but it's, it's like an event that you do either with a group of friends or on a date. So the park was full of couples and groups of friends. Nobody goes to Hanami by themselves. Like I even told my Japanese friend that I'm going to go to Hanami by myself. And they were like, by yourself? You're going to be so lonely. So it was a little out of my comfort zone because I knew I was going to kind of, I don't know, it might feel feel awkward being by myself surrounded by a bunch of couples or like groups of people and also because I'm a foreigner I 
stand out anyway so i knew that like people are going to be looking at me and that makes me uncomfortable because i'm scared of being judged by others right so what is it called rejection therapy it's the thing where you put yourself in situations where you're probably going to get judged or rejected or whatever negative thing they're scared of is probably going to happen but that's the point of doing it because you it's like you just get used to the rejection or you could get used to the judgment or you get used to being by yourself um so that it doesn't bother you anymore and you're just like oh that's okay so that's what i did today and it actually went really well and um it was nice and i was all by myself and i had my airpods in i was listening to my music walking through the park and i was taking a bunch of pictures and i was drinking my little my little tea i got a lemon tea and it was really nice it was really nice and i'm proud of myself for doing that small thing but it it was nice yeah and then another way that i'm oh i'm getting a phone call from my friend robbie should i answer him i'm gonna answer him give me a second hello i'm back i was just on the phone for like 10 minutes with rob he's my friend he's in america so he just woke up And I don't remember what I was talking about with you all. Don't remember at all. Um. And there's an ambulance coming. So I'm gonna have to go. Go again. Do you hear it? I don't know if it's coming this way or not. I'm just gonna keep talking until it gets too bad. So. I think I was talking about, oh my jeez, yeah we gotta go, we gotta go, now my mom's texting me, oh my goodness, okay, I think the ambulances are going now, so I remembered, I was telling you about um, pushing myself out of my comfort zone and doing things that make me uncomfortable, so that I get used to it, and then I'm not nervous anymore for no reason, anxiety but i'm overcoming it um so i'm doing like little mini challenges every day like i was saying going out and doing stuff by myself blah 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 but another way that i'm doing that is through the internet and actually making this channel a few years ago was one big way of doing it however it was pretty low risk because i did it secretly and nobody knew so it didn't really matter because like nobody i knew would be seeing me um even though now a lot of people are seeing me i don't know i don't really think about it <laughs> i guess i don't know but anyway my people on this side of the internet this very small corner of the internet in the asmr world you all are very nice and i don't get I, it's very rare that I would get like a hate comment and I don't I don't care I don't care so it's not really it's not really that like nerve-wracking to put myself out there on this part of the internet but some people for example like Instagram reels people in Instagram reels comments can be brutal like there's some just like mean people for no reason um so I, I was, mm, I've, mm, I always wanted, not always, but in recent times, recent years, I've wanted to try posting, like, short form videos. I like, I like YouTube. I like long videos, because I just talk and I just go. So if it's short form, it's hard for me to cut it down into something that can catch people's attention and be interesting in in the span of 10 seconds um but i wanted to try because that's the like trending content form ever since tiktok came along in short form videos so i always wanted to try um and i had instagram so i was like what if i started posting reels now 
that is a scary thing for me for a couple reasons. People that I know in real life follow my Instagram, so if I just randomly start posting reels like I'm some little influencer, that's a little, I don't know, it's a little embarrassing because what if they're like, oh, that's dumb, that's stupid. There's a lot of what ifs. There's a lot of what ifs there. So the safe option would be to not do it, but the therapeutic option of pushing my boundaries and stop caring about what people think is to do it and probably receive some judgment from people and maybe some hate comments but I don't care whatever whether I post a video or not those judgmental people, those hateful people exist so whether or not they interact with me they exist and I exist so I may as well do what I want to do and not care that's what I'm telling myself so in other words I started posting to my Instagram reels and yeah. I posted two. And the first one has gotten, I think it's been, it's been a couple days and it's like 5,000, 6,000 views. And no hate comments yet. And, but I, I don't know, it hasn't reached like outside of my followers really. So we'll see. I think you have to keep posting on Instagram for it to like reach out side and the algorithm starts pushing your videos out to random people so that's i think when we get into enemy territory so we'll see um yeah and then i don't know though i just posted one today and i'm still not used to it so i didn't want to post it and i was like nervous about it and i got anxious and i was like oh, okay i'm not gonna do it and i'm like no that's stupid i'm gonna do it even though i feel like the video is dumb but whatever you know what's dumb anxiety Anxiety's dumb. I'm saying that to myself. To, to you all, if you have anxiety, you're totally valid. Anybody, an anxiety, people with anxiety are valid. Anxiety itself is stupid. Anxiety's mean and anxiety lies to you. You're valid, the anxiety's not. I hope that comes across right how I want it to come across. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. And, and, okay, so I just have a lot of, like, little updates, little, little, little cute little pieces of news. Um, another one is that I, so, I'm a model right now in Japan is my, like, my legal job. What gives me a visa? I've, I think we all know this by now, but if you're viewing me for the first time or if you're new around these parts... Um, I live in Japan, and I am signed to a modeling agency, and they give me a visa so that I can live here, um, and earn money through that field of work. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Somebody just commented on the reel that I posted like an hour ago. <laughs> Not a hate comment. Thank you. That was sweet. Okay, um. I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, I have a visa. Ah, I had to reapply for my visa. That's not what I was going to talk about, but I just went with my my manager and then the CEO of the agency went with me and did a whole lot of paperwork. I went to the immigration office, like 45 minute drive to the immigration government office and it was packed with a bunch of foreigners and it was really cool because usually it's the other way around, like I'm the only foreigner, but that was really cool. There's mostly, I was the only American. There's a lot of Brazilians, a lot of people from Vietnam, a lot of Chinese people, some Korean people, um, a lot of Southeast Asian people, and no Americans, just me. But anyway, it was really cool to be around a bunch of people who were in the same situation as me. Trying, trying to get a visa. <laughs> anyway, my manager went with me because my vocabulary is not good enough to know all the legal terms and stuff, so they were helping me out and they had a bunch of paperwork and stuff. So I got my, my residence card got extended for two months while they decide if they're going to extend my visa or not. So I was on a one-year visa and then I re-signed my, to my agency to extend the visa because the visa is contingent on my contract with my agency. 
Anyway, that's not the news that I was going to tell you. It's just like a little thing that I remembered. The news, the news is that, um, so most of my jobs are, um, photo shoots for clothing brands or like the online stores, um, and like catalogs and stuff. Those are fun. I, I like it. But my favorite is TV commercials for a lot of reasons because acting is really fun. It doesn't feel like a job. It feels like I'm just hanging out and enjoying. Um, and also they're the highest paying <laughs> and it's cool to see myself on TV. Um, or, and I've only done a few, only done a few, but I just got, I passed the audition for two in a row. And I'm playing a mother in both roles, which is hilarious to me. So one of them, I'm a, well, not a mom. One of them, I'm a wife. I'm a newlywed wife. And it's for a, uh, what is it? It's a house something. Furniture? I don't know if it's for furniture or house, but basically the situation is where a newly married couple, either furniture shopping or like buying a house, something like that, basically. And so me and the guy just have to act like we're checking out furniture, enjoying having a conversation in a house. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be exciting. Um, and then the other one, I'm playing a mother, a young mother, <laughs> and it's for like a baby carriage stroller car seat thing. Yeah, I'm excited. And it's, I, it's really funny that I, I'm, I'm, my mother <laughs> but I'm excited <laughs> that was my other news I think that's all my news mm -hmm. I want to tell you more I want to tell you more I want to tell you more. The weather's been getting warmer, but also it's raining a lot. It's about to enter rainy, 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 rainy. No, it's not. Rainy season is in the beginning of summer. And it's the beginning of spring, so I don't know why it's raining so much. I don't like it. I need to get an umbrella. I need to get a big umbrella. I only have a tiny one. I need to get a big umbrella. Add it to my list of things that I need to get. Do, 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 do. In my last ramble, I mentioned that my eyes were changing colors for the first time I'd noticed and that I was a little concerned, like, is there, hmm, do I need to go to the eye doctor or something, or is that okay? And thank you to the handful of people, many people that commented about, um, that. And most of it was, like, reassuring and people saying, oh, that happens to me too, it's normal if you have, like, light brown eyes that are kind of hazel for them to change and get, like, more hazel, more green, more, more yellow, whatever. Um, so that's probably what's going on. Then some people said that I should go to the eye doctor just in case, which I will, um, because I need to update my contact prescription anyway, so I may as well, I'll mention it when I go and I'll, I'll ask about that. So thank you. Thank you. Actually, this is a good place to get advice because I have a very wide sample size of answers many different kinds of people that can watch my video and comment and i really appreciate all the feedback that i can get from different kinds of people like different ages from different countries like men women anybody can just anybody can give me their perspective and i can read and and it's nice so yeah thank you for being my advice givers <laughs> and if you have any advice about what I was talking about earlier with stop caring about what other people think or like getting used to rejection or like getting used to judgment, getting used to things that make you anxious, give me your advice because that's my journey right now. I'll give you my advice too. Um, and I'm not going to sit here for too much longer because I do have like a neck thing kind of a reoccurring, mm -hmm. I get a pinched nerve in my neck and 
it's really uncomfortable when I sit down. And it got better over the past couple days. That's why I didn't film because it was really painful. And sitting down, I, I sit down when I film. So I don't want to sit down for too much until this gets better because it just irritates it. Yeah, and also I have to go take a shower and I have to wash my hair and blah. Mm -hmm. And do my skincare. Skincare is fun, but it also kind of feels like a chore. I have a question. Why do self-care things feel like chores? Like washing my hair. The thought, the thought of washing my hair. I don't want to go do that. I don't want to. Like that's that's so inconvenient. Why? I should want to do that. That's something that is a good thing to do. But, I don't want to do it. Hmm. Interesting. I will. I'll do it. I will. Promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but a lot of things like, I don't know, like basic things that we should do as humans. Like sometimes eating. I like eating, but it's like, I guess preparing the food. So I kind of feel like doing that. Yeah, I wish I could just snap my fingers and have food prepared for me. It's probably what I miss, the, not the most, but it's one of the things I miss about being a kid and living. <laughs> it's your mom cooking for you. That's so nice. I wish I had a mom to cook for me. I'm so jealous of a lot of my Japanese friends because in Japan, it's pretty common. I'd say most people live with their parents until they get married. Yeah, until they get married or until they have to move away for a job. So like college students and even like young people in their 20s working or even in their young 30s, like if you're not married, they'll still live at home with their parents. And their parent, their mom cooks for them and cleans for them. And I'm just like, wow, that's so, wow. I'm so jealous. Like, almost all of my friends that I can think of, the only ones who don't live with their parents is because they moved to this city away from their hometown. Like they moved here for work or they moved here for university. So they can't live with their parents anymore because it's too far away. That's the only reason. Yeah, everybody else lives with their parents. Like, I'm not going to say anybody's name, because I don't want to call anybody out. But somebody I know doesn't even do their own laundry. How? Imagine being in your 20s and not doing your own laundry. Shocking. Shocking. Shocking to me. Maybe this is a cultural difference. It probably is a cultural difference, but it's just like, wow. I don't know about that. Wow. Wow. Also, it's it's good, I think, because it's expensive to get an apartment, so it's it makes sense monetarily to save money. And I think it's good to be close with your family. If you can live together and be close together, that's nice, too. Yeah. Yeah, but... I don't know, in America we always feel like, you're 18, you gotta go, or like, when we, when we graduate high school, or, not everyone, but, when I went to college, that's when I moved out, I was, I was 18 when I moved out for the first time, and I went to college, and I lived in my dorm on campus, and I feel like that's pretty typical, but 18 is kinda young if you think about it. I think my perspective has been changed after living here because in Japan the adult age is 20, so 18 is still like a kid, considered still a kid, until 20. Because now I think about it, like 18, that's young. That's young. That is young. Wow. Also the driving age in America is so young. 
I don't remember the age here. I think it might be 18 here. I don't know. But people drive when they're like 20 in Japan. I think most of my friends started driving at 20. And I think one of the reasons is that they never had to. Because I live in a big city where we have big trains. Big city with big trains. But whenever I tell them that in America you can get a permit and start driving at 15 and then drive by yourself at 16, they're like, whoa, that's crazy. And I was always like, eh. But actually, that is kind of crazy. <laughs> that's a little crazy. Eh, crazy. I guess whatever you're used to isn't what you're used to, and what you're not used to is crazy. I need to get my license here. I had an international license, but it's only valid for one year. That's if you're if you're wanting to drive in Japan as an American, you can apply for an international driver's license, but it will expire after one year of being in Japan. And then you need to get a Japanese license. And I still haven't done that. And it's a big task. I heard it's really difficult. And I heard that most people fail the test at least once. <sighs> yeah. So on that note, I think I told you all, all the news is that I wanted to share. I do a little review in my head. So my news is was that I saw the cherry blossoms in person for the first time. And I, and I cried a little bit in my eyes, and then I did things by myself, because I'm doing that. It's my, my mission these days. And I got accepted to the big, big, big adult real person job. It's my first, like, adult real job job that I, I'll be doing, so that's exciting, big step. Um, and I think that was everything. I don't know. There was probably more. My head hurts. My neck hurts. I can't sit like this anymore. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna go do it. Do you all wash your hair every day? That's okay. This is the last thing I want to talk about. So in America, where I'm from, most girls do not wash their hair every day. We wash our hair like a couple times a week. I feel like it ranges from like every other day to like once a week. Some people even or whatever. Personally, I think twice a week is what I had been accustomed to. That's not shower, that's washing your hair. I don't want to get any men in my comments being like, why do you not wash your hair every day? No. Have you ever spoken to a woman? My, I'm telling you, most girls do not wash their hair every day in America and in European countries as well, I had heard. However, in Japan, everybody washes their hair every day. Girls wash their hair every single day. And at first I was like, why? I don't get it. I don't get it. But I feel like since moving here and getting like adjusted to the climate or the water or something, I also have needed to wash my hair more often. Like I feel like, I just feel like I need to do it more often. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it's more humid here. Could be it. Or the water quality or something. I'm not sure. Or the difference in the soap. I don't know. But yeah, so I think... It's not just a cultural thing. I think it's a there's something different about the environment that like you need to wash your hair every day. So it's annoying. Yeah. But when my my Japanese friends when I told them when I that in America we don't wash our hair every day, they're like, Oh gross. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, gonna go do that. Okay, cheers. <laughs>